Item number SCP-727-J Object Class Keter Special Cutting Procedures Due to SCP-727-J size and presence, it is becoming increasingly difficult to contain. Currently, a 1.5 million kilometer by 1.5 million kilometer by 1.5 million kilometer carbon steel containment cube is being constructed. However, current estimates predict in construction with current foundation resources will take 150 million years. Under such time as SCP 727J is contained, personnel are recommended to not look upwards during daytime hours in case of any psychic attack from SCP 727J. Description SCP-727-J is a large celestial object positioned approximately 149,600,000 kilometers from the Earth and is 1,391,000 kilometers in diameter. SCP-727-J is originally considered to be of considerably smaller volume. However, examination by Foundation personnel led to discovery of its large size and classification as an SCP object. SCP-727-J breaks several known physical laws. It does not fall into the Earth, but instead remains suspended above it. As well, it appears to be able to generate flame in the absence of oxygen. Study into how this is accomplished has been unsuccessful. SCP-727-J appears to have some form of psychic influence on the Earth causing the Earth to rotate in a circular path around SCP-727-J. SCP-727-J also has the mimetic effect of causing itself to appear to rotate around the Earth. This is suspected as a mechanism to make itself appear more harmless. SCP-727-J is capable of reaching extremely high temperatures. During testing, Several Class D personnel were ejected into SCP-727-J and all were found to be incinerated. Continual exposure to the rays emitted by SCP-727-J causes radiation burns. Malevolence of SCP-727-J is suspected. Addendum 727-J-A During routine examination of Foundation airspace, Foundation personnel discovered several thousand possible instances of SCP-727-J. Construction of containment chambers for each instance is currently underway. Addendum 727-JB Due to the increasing threat imposed by SCP-727-J, SCP-1543-J2 was commissioned and built for the purpose of attempting to destroy SCP-727-J with different objects. Addendum 727-JC SCP-1960-J has been observed to temporarily disable SCP-727-J periodically. Research into harnessing this technology is currently underway. Experiment Law 727-J Optic used Static Class B Fire Extinguisher Observations The Fire Extinguisher failed to activate and spray SCP-727-J. Recommendation to use a handler of the fire extinguisher next time. Object use. Standard Class B fire extinguisher. D-Class handler. Observations. D-5673 failed to activate the fire extinguisher before being incinerated by SCP-727-J. Recommendation for handler to be wearing an airtight suit. Object used. Standard Class B fire extinguisher, D-Class handler, and airtight suit. Observations. Amount of foam generated by the fire extinguisher insufficient to extinguish SCP-727-J. Recommendation to build Jupiter-sized fire extinguisher. Note, Jupiter-sized fire extinguisher currently under consideration. Optic use, 150 million kilometer long fire hose connected to the Pacific Ocean. Observations failed to make any notable change. Project abandoned after five days. Optic used, 
1,435 D-Class personnel instructed to stop, drop, and roll. Observations. SCP-727-J failed to be smothered. All personnel incinerated.